you might be a little bit surprised because we haven't seen this person for a little while. Time for your stream to lag. No, stop lagging. Okay. Let's go ahead and welcome the one, the only, not the pumpkin Faizu. Nothing, Bao. Come on in chat. I want to come talk with you about this game. Hello there. I'm here. Oh my gosh. It's been so long. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> Let's not get too attached. <laughs> ah, dang it. Okay, well, I'll try not to. So, not then, Bao. Uh, I know that, you know, I was thinking about this, and this looks like it's going to be a classic video game. You know, you send over a picture to me. I don't know. I'm not sure I could necessarily argue that it's a bad game because you know it it features people's favorite fox i i believe it does uh they wanted it don't worry they wanted they it okay it's star it. wait no this isn't star fox just a second uh yeah it's it's not star fox wait let, let me correct this star x star X. There we go. That looks a little bit more correct. Star X Game Boy Advance. <laughs> yeah. Got a little bit confused, you know. We can't have a Super Nintendo game in this stream. Instead, we're going to have a game called Star X, which you all might realize looks a little bit like uh, Star Fox. Just a tiny bit. It actually looks like a bootleg of Star Fox, you know? I'm not going to lie. I just, want, I just want to note that in the Star the Star Fox cover that, oh. that I photoshopped, uh, I did change the platform to the Game Boy Advance. Oh, well. I saw. I saw. <laughs> I paid attention. Nothing slips past me. Please nobody quote that because everything slips past me every now and then. So... It was a lie. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, Nathan Bao, what have you been up to? I know that you've been really busy with work. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> That's mainly it. Why is work so busy for you? I, I don't know. <laughs> Tell them to stop. I do like the money, though. Oh, well, okay. In that case... Never stop work. Never. Ha 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 ha. Well, you you might be able to work like stop work at one time or another. That would be fine. So, you know, I I'm thinking about the game that we have coming up today, the the the, the uh Star X. Is this a game that you had from your childhood or is it just one that you found and you're like, ooh, this'll be fun? Oh, I found this after my childhood, but I knew of this game before I started looking for bad games. It's just one of those. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I understand. Just one of those games. Like, it's notable for being, like, the only game of this specific genre on Game Boy Advance, really. Oh, yeah. But also, it's notable because it's on Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Advance can't run these games. <laughs> Sure, it can't. I, I've got faith. I feel like yeah, it can happen. Yeah, if you have motion it. sickness, uh, you might want to look away at times. <laughs> <laughs> you keep laughing. <laughs> wow. That's like all you do. You're like, you're a laugher. You know that? Cruelty's fun. Ah, yay, cruelty. Oh my gosh, RBW, I love all the pumpkins. Did they pop up on stream? Hopefully they did. Because I like them. So, what what are your opinions about pumpkins? Do you have any? Yeah, they're great. Okay. Pumpkins officially confirmed as being great. Good. Well, I'm working on getting everything captured. So what I understand with this game is that it's more or less an on-rail shooter. Uh, you're going to be flying a ship that looks... Sur 
a teeny tiny bit like uh, the one from Star Fox. Maybe fewer polygons. Not gonna lie. Well, original Star Fox is kind of similar. Uh-oh. Uh. The original Star Fox? You know, I've like never SNES. actually played the SNES game. So this is a hot take, but it's fine to skip it. <laughs> Wow. 64 is the good one. Oh, okay. 64. Let, let's see how angry people get because of that opinion. <laughs> Do -do. So, I'm still working. I'm getting a couple of them. Yeah, he's wrong. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Chat is very opinionated right now. And it's... You're causing controversies, man. How could you do this? Don't worry. All publicity is good publicity. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, other than bad publicity, you know. All publicity except for bad publicity is good publicity. <laughs> you know, that there's probably a reason why nobody ever says that, you know? Well, it's just because they don't have the intelligence that I do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You know, maybe that's for the best. And the confidence. <laughs> oh, that confidence just out the window for them. Yeah. And the good looks. <laughs> Some of them have good looks. I've seen humans. I know what humans look like. <laughs> well, everybody, you were wanting to see the game, and now you get a little bit of a preview as the Smurfs go to space. No, go away. Go away, Smurfs. Okay. We don't need you flying off into space. Instead, what we need is a little bit of this beautiful audio from Alpha 5. <laughs> oh, this sounds like crappy GBA. I'm at home here. Yeah, it's pretty... It's pretty good. By good, you mean... What do you mean? I mean bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wasn't going to say. It's not actually good. Oh, I've it's never meant good. good in the terms of good. <laughs> I didn't think you would. I've, I've got more confidence in you than to expect that. So here's the deal. Whoever loses will be eliminated, but they will be uh, getting uh, prizes. So it's not the worst case scenario. Everybody go ahead and buckle up. Relax a little bit because we are going to be having a blast. I love all of these pumpkin thighs popping up. <laughs> they make me laugh. <laughs> okay, well, I'm trying to think what would be good for people to spam for emotes. Oh, star fox. Any stars, any foxes. Ooh. Any Star Fox emotes? Yeah, you can also uh, spam your favorite Smash Bros. character if you would like. So let's go ahead, <laughs> just spam away, everybody. Best of luck to the two uh, players. Alpha 5 is not too keen on this game due to having two uh, rail shooters in a row. <laughs> and we never have those in Cusa Grande, basically. As soon as... Oh, Baldinate Stream died right as I was doing the countdown. Seriously? Okay. Here we go, everybody. This is Star X. That is not a Smash Bros. emote. That is a pentagram. I know this for a fact. <laughs> so, let's talk a little bit about this game. Uh, you know, obviously looks have an issue with it you know for gba this is not the most advanced game out there what what are the main problems with this game well you'll notice how far and fast the the reticle moves across the screen okay and it uh if you know the gba you know it doesn't have an analog stick it just has a d-pad oh no so, like, there's there's no way to slow it down it's gonna be like that forever Okay, so in other words, shooting anything becomes a problem in this. Oh, yeah. 
The other issue is just the draw distance is really short and the projectiles move really fast, so you don't really have a chance at dodging. True. No. Do you have any, like, rolls or sideways movement that you can do? Well, you have a spin, but unlike Star Fox, it's not invincible. Also, because this is a speedrun, they're going to be doing the boost a lot, which just makes it harder. <laughs> and a race, so they essentially yeah. can boost in order to... Uh, you do move faster through the level. Okay, yeah, Alpha 5 has a good amount of boost, and ooh, ooh, I love that. I love that. It's risk versus reward. They can boost in order to oh, yeah. make more progress, but will they die? Uh, so this is going to be judged based off of progress, yes. By the way, there are boss battles, and that I think... open world <laughs> stages. Every third stage is open world. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. Also, fun fact about the passwords, uh, they keep track of your health and bombs. And on the last stage, there's actually no health pickups. So, <laughs> if you get into the last stage without high health, you're going to want to go back to an older password. But I, di I did tell them to keep a notepad for passwords. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, you know what? It it's still worth keeping it up, you know. You never know in games like this when a password is going to show up. So it's better to be prepared oh, yeah. than to uh, be punished. Ah, <laughs> uh, well... I'm wondering, okay, so you've got two hearts on the left, you've got your health above the hearts, you've got these weird squares on the right. What are those squares? Oh, uh, those are just, uh, bombs. Okay, and the hearts are your lives? Yeah, they're, they're lives. So. <laughs> now, I have to ask, is the aiming inverted? I think like, the down, down goes, arm. oh good. Because I could not play this game if it wasn't. Like, it would be literally impossible for me. I have the weird issue where it's only Star Fox style games where I have to use inverted controls and everything else I have to do normal. Really? Oh, well, yeah. Even, even like, uh, after a while, Diddy Kong Racing, I can't go back to it anymore for the flight controls. Even though it's the same, like, idea. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I I can understand that. I yeah, pretty much everything. If it has a camera, I have to invert the uh, Y axis. Otherwise, it it just does not work for me. And unfortunately, you know, before PC games really made it standard uh, to allow you to invert that, you know, it, you just had to deal with it a lot of the times. Deal with however the devs wanted you to look. Hey, there goes a boss. Alpha 5 taking him down. Baldnake getting to the boss as well. Ha ha, my high-powered assault craft will make sure work of you. You will never leave this place alive. Whatever, your ship's crappy. I love the little <laughs> pill shooting out. It looks like Kingdom Hearts. They shoot so much bullets. Oh, so this is the first open world stage. It actually does have a counter. Please say many. Bullets are countable. Nod then bow, I need to teach you. You have to say so many, not so much. If there's a number of bullets. But what if there isn't a number? They're still it countable. On how long they last. You can see it's one, two, three, four shot out. No, it's, it's countable. <laughs> well, there is countable infinity and uncountable infinity. Uncountable uh, infinity. No, it's not. No, it's not. I know the difference. You don't know that. I got a minor in math. I know. <laughs> I almost had one. <laughs> Baldnate just went down. Gonna be fighting the boss again. This definitely gives Alpha 5 a fairly solid lead. Oh yeah, there's weapon upgrades. <gasps> oh no, that's not good. It's a 
It's fine, they're not actually that that strong. <laughs> There's one ship upgrade in a later open stage, and it tells you about it. And I have no idea where it is. <laughs> and that's a... I've heard it was strong, but... I don't think anyone will find it. Ooh, Baldnate goes down again. Oh, that is rough. No lives left. I'm a little bit concerned that Baldnate might get a game over. Yeah. Do you Passwords think... do put you back at the same level, though. So. Isn't this the first level? Uh. Or is it the second one? I have no idea. Uh... It looks the same. <laughs> there's a stupid rainbow behind the boss. It's the second, so. Okay. I had myself... I, I barely remember, honestly. Yeah, they... They do change the, the layouts, but, like, these are supposed to be on the same planet, right? Cat planet. So <laughs> Wait, is there a cat planet? Because I want to go there. Uh, does Earth count? Yeah. Well, you're already there. Congratulations. Hey, I'm on Cat Planet, everybody. <laughs> I'm so happy. Wow, what was that password? Alpha 5 just got a password. Good, good. Uh, do I think this is a good game? Uh, at this point... Like, if it was on Super Nintendo, this would have been fantastic. <laughs> on Game Boy Advance, I, I feel like... Comes out a decade late. Yeah, it's a little bit late. Uh, the, the worst part about this is actually just the controls. <laughs> just. <laughs> well, you, just see... you move so fast across the screen whenever you, like, even tap the D-pad. Yeah. I love, I love these 3D GBA games. They're all so terrible. Baldnate is having to enter the password to go back to stage three. Meanwhile, Alpha 5 is on stage four, getting some shield power. Yeah, Alpha 5 is sitting with a fairly comfortable lead at this point. Oh, these pyramids. Can you run into the pyramids? Oh, yeah. You can run into so much of the level geometry. Okay, and I imagine, wow, those sphinxes are barely even sphinxes. Like, I like them. They're cute and all. But it's like, hey, if I wanted a polygon cat, you know, I could make one myself. You don't have to plop it down in Egypt. I'm trying to think what... I'm, I'm trying to think of Game Boy Advance games that had really good 3D because I'm really not sure of any. Uh... Uh, Dark Arena had okay 3D. Okay. It, it ran at a good frame rate. That's what I'm saying it about. <laughs> yeah, they, this doesn't appear to be the best frame rate. There we go. Alpha 5 through stage 4. Baldnate still on stage 2. It would be really good if he found an upgrade <laughs> for his gun. Oh, Alpha 5 found the hidden boss, and that's it's a Q in the passwords screen. <laughs> Oh it's no! One pixel different than the O. Are you serious? Oh, that's yes. not good. Here's the deal: GBA wasn't built for 3D, but neither was the Super Nintendo. In fact, I'd probably wow. say that the GBA was a little bit more uh, ready for 3D than Super Nintendo. That's my guess. Well, Super Nintendo had you could plug in extra hardware. And that's what they did for Star Fox, if I'm right. If oh, I wait. That. Oh, yeah. If they put extra hardware in the cart, that makes sense. Yeah. Huh. Yo, Tony Hawk games on GBA? Yeah, those were good. Like, are you lying or telling the truth? No, F. I actually grew up with those games and I like them. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. They're not, like, 
Did I hear games, a but... cat? Oh yeah, my cat is currently trying <gasps> to jump on me. Oh my gosh, we need to hear more of Nod Them Bow Cat. <laughs> well, if she starts purring, you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I fully support that. <laughs> no, we love cats around here. Nod Them Bow, who doesn't love cats? Uh, Alf. I mean, he loves them. I mean, way. he does love cats. <laughs> Just not in the nice way. <laughs> oh no, someone in chat is allergic. Aww. Doesn't mean you can't love them. Just means it's much more painful. Just, just take your allergy pills. Take medication. Are you scary? You should be. I'm going to rip your stupid ship apart. Perhaps you would like to surrender first? <laughs> I like how they all go on for like twice as long as they need to. So good. Ah, you fight a giant oh, scorpion! This, boss is, this oh. boss is horrible. You have to break at the start or you're just in range of getting hit from everything. Or really? you can break at any point. Really. Can, can you back up at all? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember how. It's just <laughs> like don't press boost, press the other button. Maybe if you hold break, maybe. Yeah, there, yeah but there, there is a break button. Yeah, I just so don't remember it. Saucity Vader is doing to. really good here. Like, look at all this dark force magic that he has, you know? <laughs> oh, man. I love this boss. This is not my favorite boss, but... We'll see if someone gets to my favorite boss. Wait, Baldnate just dropped bombs on the <laughs> ship and he's dead. Oh yeah, bombs do a ton of damage. Holy to crap. Oh, in that case, that would probably be the way to go. I'm Alpha 5 is definitely not using bombs, but maybe should. Oh, he's due used to... some of them. It's just he's not using them on bosses. Yeah. You definitely want to try to keep some for later stages because they're really stingy on bomb refills. Compared I could to, imagine. Compared to health refills. So wait, you don't refill on bombs between stages? Alpha 5! Oh, I'm very concerned about your sliver you, of health. Yeah. You, you never refill bombs unless you die. I think you get them back. Well... We might see uh, that option for Alpha 5 in just a minute. Let's see. Scorpion is still lobbing these giant balls of uh, shockiness. Oh, Alpha 5, Saucity Vader got you. See, that's why he is a Dark Lord. Because he's really good at fighting. It's a good Scorpion. Okay, Baldnate is currently on stage three, Alpha Five on stage five. Uh, there's definitely a separation, but Alpha Five is struggling a little bit with this boss. I'm wondering if Alpha Five is gonna opt to use a bomb in a little bit. I mean, frankly, dying and getting bombs back, that could be a genuine strategy later on. Especially if you're on a boss stage, just die right at the beginning, enter the password, and then you start back up and have bombs. No, it's true. No, I was just laughing at Alpha 5 tried to dodge the oh. bullets, and it was completely off-screen and still hit him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that. <laughs> Wait, what makes future levels harder? Uh, Dying in order to have... refill bombs? Yeah. Why? Because you won't have your ship upgrades, and boss levels don't give ship upgrade. Well, that's... That's fine. Just get to the boss and then bomb him to pieces. You don't need upgrades if you've got bombs. Well, okay, Alpha 5 tried using them all right at the end, but it didn't work. Oh, this music. Is he going back to an earlier stage? We'll have to oh, find out. Oh. He maybe. I think he's just refreshing to get the the lives back. Maybe. Maybe. I think I would have fought the boss one more time, but uh, we'll have to see what password Alpha Five uses. 
in order to get back into this. Now, Baldinate is trailing, but he's definitely making up time now. Uh, yeah. Baldinate knows that boss level, at least the boss level that he got to, did not have weapon upgrades. Uh, but he learned the power of the bombs as well. I don't know. Uh, I think Alpha 5 ran into the password boss. <laughs> if he doesn't figure it out, then I'll tell him there's a key. <laughs> But if he's, if he's paying attention, he'll see that. Oh, he did find the cube. Oh, it's not even a small dot. Wow, you were exaggerating about how easy it was to confuse them. I see the no. dot. It's worse on the, the menu screen, on the stage screen. Oh, okay. I I don't think I saw it there. Because like all it's all thinned out on the... Because they're using the larger font, but they don't like... Whatever that word is. Make him bigger. <laughs> Enlarge. Okay, Alpha 5 is currently flying through not Egypt. What's this what's this planet supposed to be? What oh. where even are we? What's the lore? Actually, did you give them a manual? I could not find a manual. What? Okay. i am be honest, I didn't look that hard. <laughs> because this game's mostly self-explanatory. And it has a tutorial. But Let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of searching because I need to know all of the lore. I need to know everything about this. So what stage is this? This is... Either four or five, but I really don't know. I think it's Berman then. Okay, well, I, luckily I found the Wikipedia page. That's about it. So, okay, here's what they have listed under gameplay. Star X is a rail shooter video game. Ooh. That's literally it. That's all I have. That's all they have for gameplay. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, I feel like I learned something today. This is a rail shooter video game. <laughs> okay, so here I found a little bit of a, a summary for this game. Ah, Alpha 5, onto the boss. You have been Are sent you on a... You should <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. You have been sent on a peace <laughs> envoy to a newly discovered alien race, only to find out that what they want is not peace, but the human race's slaves. You must fight your way back to Earth in order to warn the human race of the threat that these aliens pose. So, here's the deal. You have a lot of guns for being on a peace mission. So, it, yeah. I would say it, it's like the U.S.'s definition of peace. Yeah, we're going on a peace mission. <laughs> so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a spoiler. Uh-oh. But uh, at the end of the game, they prepare for an invasion. Not, like, they prepare to invade. <laughs> He comes back and he's like, yo, let's invade these people. Wait, you invade them? Yeah. Uh, this is the opposite. The end this is the <laughs> opposite of a. Oh, this is not a peace mission. Not at all. Very peaceful. Yeah, Alpha 5 trying to take this boss down. It's this. Yeah, Saucer Evader is a little bit rough. I'm not going to lie. Man, if the, if the twirl had invincibility, this game would actually be good. <laughs> you know what? This was developed by Graphic State Limited and published by BAM Entertainment. We have had BAM games before. Uh, specifically when we had Ed, Ed, and Eddie Jawbreakers. Uh, they worked on that. That was actually a pretty fun watch, too. Uh, yeah, it appears that they did quite a few games on Game Boy Advance. Seems like that was their specialty. They uh, tried very hard. However, this was actually developed 
by Graphic State Limited. And did you say something about Dark Arena? Yeah. Because they developed that. Yeah. Oh, that's, okay. That's, that's after they figured out the limitations. I don't know. That actually came out before, before Star X. <laughs> yeah. They also, they also made a game called Zoo Cube and Crazy Taxi Catch a Ride. Ooh, how about Babe and Friends? That sounds the inspiring. You are one special sheep pig, babe. Yeah, it's a it's a game about Babe the pig. It looks like an RPG. I mean, it probably is. There's so many like licensed RPGs, like The Hobbit and. Uh... Yeah, but Babe. It's... Alpha Five took the scorpion down. <gasps> and Baldinate getting through space. Oh, I'm so happy. Good, good, good. Both of them progress. making progress. Oh, Wakam, y'all. <laughs> My password is Wakam, y'all. It's a good password. Well, not anymore. We oh, no. That. Alpha 5 is losing frames. Oh, this is why people get motion sickness from this game. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's like art. Oh, hey. You found the, the turnaround button. There's a turnaround button? Only in the, the open stuff. Oh, okay. Well, good. That'd be funny if it was in regular. <laughs> you just go back to the start of the stage. Oh, per Andy, he went off the map. And that's what caused him to turn around. Oh, yeah. Oh. That makes more sense. But there is a turnaround button. I think. Alpha 5, you're really low on health. Frankly, here, here's what I probably would have done. I probably would have died right at the beginning because... What? He still gets he through it. I'm so angry. I would have gotten There's a health a refill that though. Stage where you go right above where the ship is, and you just start turning around, turning around and shooting, because you'll hit him all the time and you won't get hit. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can finish in like five or six seconds. Oh my gosh, the mechs <gasps> on is, Alpha Five. This is my five. favorite stage. They look like ducks. You're in like, <laughs> there's like bridges, and you're in a really moldy swamp. So Washington D.C. That's what you're oh, saying. Oh yeah. Okay. There's and, trees and greens. Yeah, the, this is exactly what it looked like when I went there. You know. They have those cow robots from Metal Gear with so, two legs. As far as I'm aware, uh. Are there are are there barrel rolls in this? I was pretty sure there was no rolling yes. at all. Oh, there are. Yeah, it, it does nothing. It just spins you. I want to do it. I would be doing that all the time. <laughs> I think it uses your boost gauge too. Ooh. But like, I stopped using them very quick. I've got something big on the scanners. Oh no. Well, Baldnate is on to Egypt too, I believe. Always good, always, always good. Oh wow, this, this is definitely a video game. I can say that much. I'm surprised how well Alpha 5's doing. He might, he might finish. It's yeah, only like he's... 50 minutes if you're playing pretty well, but. <laughs> yeah, how many worlds are there after this one? Uh, after this one? I, I'm not sure. There's 14 total, though. <laughs> okay, Alpha 5 is on 7. You know what? Uh, that would be completely fine. We'd still probably be at least past the 50 minute mark. It, it happens. Oh, wow. I'm looking at one of 
the people who helped with this. I believe he did the programming for this game, at least some of it. Uh, he programmed other classic games like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Jr.? Uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. He was the lead programmer for that. How about Django World Tour? That was a classic. There we go, Alpha 5 through yet another level. Moving on to the next one. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. one of the other programs for this also programmed Little Britain, the video game. That sounds very good. It sounds like literally the worst thing that could exist. I hate that show. I would never play a game based off of it. It's terrible. That just, that just means... Like, if you hate the show, then that the game just becomes better. Like, it wouldn't be hard for the game to be better than the show. I'm going to be honest, because the show is the worst. <laughs> oh, you know what? One of the people who worked on the music, did the music for this game, was also helping with audio on Choo Choo Rocket. You know Choo Choo Rocket, right? No. What? Oh. Should I? I'm very sad, because yes, you should. Choo Choo Rocket is amazing. Uh, it, it's a an old school Dreamcast game, uh, and probably the best multiplayer game on the Dreamcast. Uh, you also end up hating your friends after it, so yeah. Not only is it enjoyable, but it spawns hatred. It's even better than Monopoly. I mean, like, I only play bad games at this point. <laughs> Well, wow. people in chat asking, what do I find bad about Little Britain? Literally everything. It's the worst <sighs> comedy I've ever seen. The Terminator? What? Yes. Oh, no. Skeleton Terminator. This does not <laughs> look like a skeleton. Oh, no. Bald Nate's dead. It's going to be starting back up. This boss fight's actually one of the more fair boss fights. Because you can act like all the the left side and the right side, one of them's tracking you just like after it fires, and the other one always shoots pretty much straight. Ah. So, once you realize that this is actually a fair boss fight, it becomes a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, Little Britain or Tchaikovsky? I have to. I have to go with this. Little Britain is worse than Tchaikovsky. Like, even though he has repeats, it's not every song that's just a repeat of the previous song. Thank goodness. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't even care about the gross out. It's just that every single episode of Little Britain is exactly the same, and it's terrible. Uh, so, by the way, we're getting close to the 30-minute mark. This is... The bad video game tournament, Cuso Grande. Uh, indeed, our friend Not Then Bao chose the game for today, and it has been a blast, specifically because of explosions. This is definitely not the best game in the world. Yeah. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I like how bad the, sphinx the sphinxes look. They just look like dogs. <laughs> wow. Motion sickness is just part of the experience, RBO. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I'm trying to think. Uh, people are saying that other British humor is great, and yeah, it's great, but I'll never be okay with the Little Britain. That's all. There's my opinion, okay? 
Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna move away from British comedy because we've got another comedy on screen that, as it turns out, was it British? Graphic State Limited. Like, I have no idea what this company is. I'm very curious, though. Oh, it was a British video game developer based in <laughs> Leamington Spa, uh, Warwickshire, England. I mean, they made the little British video game, didn't they? <laughs> the, yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> I'd Wait, be concerned no. if they weren't British. Wait, they no, they it. didn't make it. It was just other people in the company who made it. Uh, interesting. So, yeah, this is a British video game. Thank you very much. Prepare to meet your end. Rip. Yeah. You know, if this game came out in the 1700s, it would have been another cause for the Revolutionary War. Let's be honest. Like, they're like, send us good games, not just your crappy British games. Oh, no. Alpha's not going to win this if he just wants to damage race it. Yeah, damage race is not quite going to work. There are a couple bosses where you can damage race them, but it's uh, it's not very recommended. Oh, yeah. Looks like Alpha 5 is opting to quit and hop back in. Baldinate is a little bit stuck on this Scorpion. You know, it's... Uh, I, it still is possible that Baldinate could catch up, but remember, Alpha 5 is uh, has historically been an amazing player. I, I believe making it very far in previous Cusa Grandes. I wouldn't be surprised. Was finalist. Yeah, I, I believe so. I actually need to go take a look a little bit. I mean, Alpha 5 in the group stages didn't lose a single match, took first in every <laughs> single one. Oh, wow. Yeah. But then, in Kuso 3, by the way, Alpha 5 was eliminated in round 2 of the loser's bracket. That's what we're on right now. So, I, I feel like if Alpha 5 manages to get through this and move on, you know, that'll be a significant mark of progress, personally. Just imagine how good he'll be when he gets out of Alpha stage. Full release five? Wow. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. You nerd. You're such a nerd. Wow. Have you ever looked in the window or in the mirror, nerd? I've definitely looked at a window before. I've got one right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm running 10 right now. Oh my gosh. Even more of a nerd. Wow. I think Alpha 5 is restarting so you can get the homing missile power up. I believe you're right, yeah. And there we go. That is shield power, not... That's just health. Well, okay. That's good, too. Health's good. It is useful to not die. Sometimes. You know, unless you want to restart. I really like <laughs> the bridges that don't actually have bridge sections, you know? It's pretty cool. <gasps> Baldney is very close to winning. The Kill the scorpion. scorpion! Oh my gosh, but... Oh, I'm very concerned. And Baldney is through! Yes. Okay, we've got Skelly Chan, as chat says, on the left. <laughs> oh, Alpha <God>. 5... <laughs> Not as cute as Skelly Chan, I'm gonna be honest. Just so everybody knows, this is GBA, only the highest technology that we can have on this stream, you know? I was told mobile round. Yep. You chose a mobile game, good job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Like, if you gave me, uh, like, I don't know, a Super Nintendo game and said, well, technically, you can move it. <laughs> yeah, technically. I'm sorry, I'm being rude, everybody. I mean, if you strap a TV to it and get a really good, get a really good grip. Technically. 
And then you play it on an emulator on your phone. Alpha 5! <laughs> He's dead. Technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> technically, I mean, all games are mobile games. Technically, Virtual Boy was a mobile game. <laughs> I mean, it was intended to be a mobile game, actually, though. Mobile Te game system. <laughs> I mean, I would count it. <laughs> you could um, run it on batteries, couldn't you? Sure. I have no idea. Did you have to use, like, C batteries? <laughs> Just 800 AA batteries. Okay, it did have a battery pack. Oh, this is ugly. Are you just seeing the Virtual Boy for the first time? No, no, no. I, I mean, I've seen the Virtual Boy a lot. Okay. The controller has batteries. Of course. Uh, power. S this is the specification for uh, the console. Six AA batteries. Or 10 V DC at 350... Whatever. I don't even know what that means. Okay. Six AA batteries. That is what you needed for the Virtual Boy. It's actually not too bad. I mean, it probably only had, like, an hour of battery life. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. But, like, I, I remember the Game Gear. I'm pretty sure you needed about that much. <laughs> and it about had the same battery life. Yeah. Game Gear battery life was, like, five minutes. Let's... <laughs> yeah, basically, if you didn't have an adapter, then... You really shouldn't have been playing the Game Gear. I remember multiple times just sitting on the hardwood floor in my house with it plugged into the wall, uh, playing Sonic 2. Good it was times. a very strong, very strong console for what it was at the time. No. Other than the battery life being zero. I don't know. Like, it, it was the same as the Master System hardware. It's just came out after Genesis, and it had Master System technology. I guess it was powerful, but... Eh. Eh. Oh, not only that, but, like, nobody knew back in the 90s how to make a, a power cable that was more than, like, six inches long. So... Or good games. That... No, people knew how to make good games. Just not everybody. Oh. This game was on an actual GBA system is, like, so much worse, too. <laughs> Everything's so small. Oh, well, I'm very sad about this game. You know, I didn't have a GBA or a Game Boy growing up. The, f the first console that I really, handheld Nintendo console that I really started playing was the 3DS. Uh, I missed a lot of handheld games. Wow, Alpha 5 is struggling and Baldnate is... Still fighting the scorpion? I thought he won. I did too. What? Can anybody help the commentators who are obviously paying attention? <laughs> oh, beat the scorpion with no life. Okay. Oh, yeah. It so just dies in the next level. <gasps> and, like, it was actually an infinite death loop. Just death, 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 death. Oh, no. What a video game. What a video game that we have on display today. That is so bad, RBW. I've, I've never seen a password that led you to directly die as soon as you appeared. Oh, my gosh. Kerosene, that almost looks like a blindfold. 
on the emote. Maybe a headband. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> very, very misplaced sunglasses. Do you wear them like that in real life, too? Yeah, people make fun of me. It's kind of dumb. At least you don't wear them like Guy Fieri. <gasps> he was in town the other day. I didn't actually see him. And I don't really care too much, but he was. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess they were filming an episode of whatever, whatever crap he's doing these days. Triple D. I don't think that's what he was filming, no. Triple G. <laughs> Triple G. The, the food, diner, oh yeah, diners. Uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Yep, that's what they were filming. Man, Baldinate, I feel so bad for Baldinate because he did get past the scorpion but is running into a lot of problems trying to kill it again just due to defeating it and then getting in an infinite death loop with the password. It's just, it's rough. Alpha 5 doing very well at getting to this boss with all of his resources. And then he loses them all. <laughs> I like this music, it's fun. <laughs> you know, he does live in Flavortown still, Guy Fieri. Oh my gosh, I'm enjoying this match. Both of them are a little bit walled, though. Oh, by the way, I looked up for Guy Fieri restaurants in my town, and it brought up Taco Time. What? <laughs> yeah, Taco Time. Officially, my hometown Taco Time is <laughs> approved. <laughs> I, I feel like that that wasn't accurate, okay? I mean, I have a taco time where I live. Well, that one's not Guy Fieri approved, is it? You don't know that. Well, yeah, I don't. <laughs> is that even a mark of good? Of of excellency? You know, I, I'd probably is say like more that... more of a demerit? <laughs> no, it's definitely a mark of not badness i don't know i i have eaten at some of the restaurants in utah that uh are approved the curry pizza one for example curry pizza is so good and i guess he approved of that restaurant as well so yeah aha uh -huh, some people are disappearing for a little while to go vomit that's fine go ahead go vomit if you need <laughs> No, stick here and stay. <laughs> no, you do not have to stay. Don't listen. Don't listen to Nod Them Bow. He is full of lies and deceit. <laughs> he just wants you to suffer. I, I, I grew up on, on Game Boy games like this. I, I have become immune. <laughs> You're immune? Oh, well, yeah. It happens to to some people. Sad day. This isn't even the worst one that I had on deck, but you'll you'll all have to wait till later. <laughs> or I mean, just like stick fingers in your mouth, that'll make you vomit too. Please don't do That's... that, Chad. <laughs> just just kick back and 
I, I would say uh, go ahead and step away from the screen for a little bit if needed because I don't want anybody vomiting here. You do, I'll be so angry. Put a hand over one of your eyes, you, you get nauseous at half the rate. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I don't either. <laughs> uh, Put a hand over both of them, that's 100% <laughs> reduction. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm just currently uh, making sure that we have everything going in the right direction for today. Remember, we have three matches. This is the first one. The person who loses is going to be eliminated from the tournament. It's definitely going to be a little bit rough, but we have one more mobile game and then another beautiful, beautiful sort of revenge, the Ghost of Kuso Pass match. It'll be it'll be a blast. You know, this still isn't as nauseating as Peggy the Peach 3, I'm going to be honest. I have played games that are much worse than this. But at the same time, like, the way that the floor is scrolling, it doesn't make sense. Because if you turn yeah. right, it scrolls horizontal, even though you're flying forward. I don't understand. Also, it moves a lot faster than everything on the that's on the ground. Yeah, I and think that might be part low, of it. I haven't seen them fly that low yet, but you'll notice that they're like, there's a huge gap between that and, and like where they're they're floating and the ground. Okay. Huh. It's just like they're a bunch of floating trees in this game. Alpha Five, you're not gonna escape this. You need to fight, fight for your life. <laughs> You've mean, got a an this orbs. boss might be telling the truth, and he will meet his end here. <laughs> what is that orb flying around then, by the way? The homing missile. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, oh, this helps a lot. Alpha but, 5 actually dealing some good damage. Look at this. Those bombs do so much. He's using the strat that's just start doing figure eights or corner to corner that seems like a pretty good strat although right now you gotta pay Skeletor. attention to where the the gun is aiming though because that's actually where it shoots just kind of it's more exaggerated but i can't tell where it's aiming i have no idea and revealing our trade secrets in chat. What a... <laughs> Who's winning? Good question, chat. Alpha 5 is in the lead. Currently on stage 8. Bald Nate on stage 5. He's made it to stage 6, but unfortunately was unable to beat it due to an infinite death loop. Even with the password. Because this is a high quality video game. There are some. Okay. Hopefully, Alpha 5 can get past this boss and we get to see some of the high quality bosses they stole from other Nintendo games. Oh, yeah. Uh, Saucity Vader, especially. That was good thievery. Yeah, why does the Scorpion have so much health? I, I don't know. All the bosses have a ton of health in this game. Or is it just that you can only damage him also, shooting specific areas first? Okay, that's why Bald Nate is dealing no damage. Yeah, it's Gotta not obvious that you have to kill the arms first, but because like the health also goes down in chunks. Yeah. Still, you should be keeping an eye on that. Oh, Bald Nate learned how to strafe. I didn't know you could. I think the scorpion's strafing. Not Are you ball. sure? Well, I don't remember a strafe button, so. Well, this There's is. There's only like four buttons. You know what? I approve. If 
Baldnape managed to get the Scorpion suck stuck in the cycle, then that's fantastic. Extremely helpful. Wow. <laughs> no Scorpion suck chat, please. This is a very convenient <laughs> boss stopped attacking loop. <laughs> How did this even happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it started. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because one arm got exploded. You know, well, Scorpion's got to change up his pattern after that, you know? <laughs> okay, Baldinate is actually going to finish this boss. Maybe. Again. <laughs> Soon. Yeah. Oh my you can gosh. You make it through the next stage with this. I'm so happy. I believe. Well, I, mean, I believe. Yeah, that should be enough health. Just make sure that you write down the password. Yeah. I was yawning. I'm sorry, nothing, Bal. It's. <laughs> I was concerned. Well, you shouldn't be. It's just a normal yawn. My gosh. You know, that actually is pretty brutal that uh, the, the password system saves both your lives as well as the amount of health that you have. Like, how could they? Well, the, the good thing is that it's pretty easy to guess a random password in this game. Because <laughs> there's just so many. Well, I mean, but they're not allowed to. It's only because you banned it. Yeah, it's only because you banned it. Well, guess what? We have to have rules. We don't need anarchy in Cusa Grande. I support anarchy. Well, that's... Put it in <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, Alpha 5 found where to deal a lot of damage. Shooting just, the he's guns. He's blowing up all his bombs to do it. It's fine. He's dead now. It's fine. It's fine. The chat just needs to remember that if they download this game, they're allowed to guess passwords all they want. They'll have to find the download though, because I'm not giving it. When are we going to do Cusa Grande Battle Royale? Just a hundred, right at once. You know, I've actually thought of doing a giant race with tons of people, you know, essentially SRL style, except I'd rather not use IRC because IRC is dumb. Okay. Like, honestly, this is 2019 and we've got discord. We can go ahead and make something for discord. That'd be fine. Wow, other people love IRC? That is a strong opinion. I mean, technically, Twitch chat's just an IRC. I mean, I guess. Oh, like it actually has an IRC channel, and that's how they use it. That's how. That's please, how it works. please do not send the hundred people over to my house, okay? <laughs> I do yeah, not have enough bathrooms. We've got like three bathrooms here. Please, no. That's just stage two of the battle royale. <laughs> the bathroom. Bathroom royale. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, it is Cuso Royale. Yeah, send him to Essentia. That'd be better. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, well, we've got five minutes left. Baldnate is entering a password. I'm wondering if you think there's any chance Baldnate could catch up to Alpha 5 at this point. I'm going to be honest, I, I don't even think that, like, with perfect play, it's possible. <laughs> huh, okay. 
you know, like the I... stages take time to get through. <laughs> it's true. They're they're definitely le lengthy, and I I know that especially stage. Oh, Baldnate is on stage seven. Four minutes left. He'll but I, I don't think... not die at all. Yeah, if he play Well, I mean, he has zero lives, so... Of course. Dying would be bad at this point. He's also not boosting in these stages. Which which well, does increase the speed. He doesn't really have boost, though, you know? You can't... You always... You have boost at all times. It, it like, recharges over time. Oh, just a... A, a small bit recharges, huh? Like, well, it goes all the way down to all the way up. He's just not pressing the button. <laughs> oh, man. Hide light 99. Ooh, I like this idea. Ooh. 99 hide light Super players. hide light or like virtual hide light or just NES hide light? Randomly one of those three. There we go. That thing's pretty good. I do it in virtual high flight. That's not, that sounds amazing. Actually, uh, yeah, we could just roll a seed and have a 99 person virtual high light race. Dude, it'd be like 60 FPS because every every player is sharing part of the frames. It's true. Every player contributes a frame to the game. <laughs> well, part of a frame. <laughs> <laughs> At least. Oh yeah. It would be very easy to, to render. You can just do it in sequence. Okay, Alpha 5 is still stuck on this level. Not a surprise. Bobnate is doing pretty good trying to catch up. Honestly, I'm a little bit curious. Is Bobnate going to see the boss? Because if so, there could be a tiny chance for a lead oh, change. Man. If Baldnate does, like, the last two minutes. I'm going to be so, like, it'll be, be a huge upset if for some I reason Baldnate dreaming. did take the lead. Like, I, I don't think we would have seen an upset like that during this whole tournament. So let, let's see what Baldnate can do. Okay, Baldnate's oh, through the level. On the stage. Just got a rush. Okay, you've got one shot. You've got a minute and a half. Just jump in. Okay, here he goes. This is the stage with the boss, and we only have a minute 20. I I think that's enough. I'm not sure. I have no clue. I, I don't think it's enough to kill the boss, but you it might need be to boost. To gain lead. You have to boost. Please boost. Oh my gosh, one minute left. And Alpha 5 doing a lot of damage to the boss. Alright, boss is going to be showing up real shortly. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Right. 40 seconds left. Alpha 5 is getting pretty close. 30 seconds. I wanted to see the boss at least. At least see the boss. F 20 seconds. 15. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Alpha 5 killed one of the guns. 10 seconds. You've got to go. You've got 10 seconds left. Yeah, there's no hope. Oh, no. Oh, it was starting to get really close right at the end. But it's an hour. And you know what? We can't take that hour back. You have lost it to uh, Star X. That is time. You did see the boss, though. <laughs> oh, baby. That is, as a matter of fact, time. Oh, prepare to meet. Are you prepared to meet? <laughs> MIT. I like it. Thank you for reversing the word. Ah, well, everybody, just in case you're wondering, 
Alpha 5 managed to get to the boss and actually destroy a gun. Baldinate just barely made it to the boss. Oh my gosh, Alpha 5. Congratulations, you took the victory today. Oh man, the way it was being sounded, I thought I lost at the last second again. <laughs> uh, Baldinate just barely made it to the boss right at the end. Like, if he would have used the boost occasionally throughout, he may have had a chance, and we could be telling a different story here. That, that boss was insane. Um, and I, actually, on that last life I had, right as time was called, I found a spot that I could kind of sit, free hit um, one of the guns, and I finally took out the Gatling gun. <laughs> it's just so hard. Oh, yeah, that... Like, Baldinate, you're sitting right there. If you would have used the boost, you might have gotten to the boss and actually passed Alpha 5 right at the end. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, well. it's okay. You know, honestly... Uh, I was on the boss for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, be glad you didn't have to fight it. The Scorpion was hard enough, and, like, it felt good. That boss didn't feel good. I didn't feel like I outplayed it ever. Now, well. <laughs> Baldinate did run into an issue with the Scorpion. What was it, Baldinate? Oh, I did. Well, I actually don't know what the issue was. I couldn't figure. It didn't seem to register damage well, and sometimes the smart bombs would just whiff. But then I got, I got the scorpion into like a loop to where it wasn't hitting me, and I was hitting it, and I just sat there for like eighty percent of the fight. Oh, that was great. So, what about oh, the first? Fight. What about the you first have to time? Destroy the arms first. Oh finally. yeah. <laughs> I I like the first fight. Um. I pushed the A button once, and then I pushed select three times, and I won the fight. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the best fight in the game. It was so good. But wait, 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 Bald Nate, there was another issue uh, with the game, specifically the first time you beat the Scorpion. Oh, yeah. I, I left. Well, uh, I can't remember if I double KO'd the Scorpion. That was maybe a different boss. Essentially, I the yeah. Scorpion. I beat the Scorpion with just, like, the tiniest sliver of shield. And the very next level, you take unavoidable damage immediately. So they give you a password that is worthless. So uh, yeah, fun. he had zero <laughs> lives and basically no health. So oh, he had hurt. to go yeah. back to the previous stage and kill the Scorpion <laughs> again. Yeah. yeah I, was, I got out of there. I'm like, ah, maybe I'll get a health pickup. And then I was able to get to level three laser again. So I wasn't too worried. And then the robot happened. Oh, that robot. Yeah, that robot Baldi, was, you, was so much damage. You need to give it a shot. Just, uh, you know, you don't have to do it on stream, but at least try playing that boss, okay? Its hitboxes are so bad. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think that watching it, it's very easy for us to see that it's a bad game uh, in multiple ways. The movement is really, probably overly responsive is what I'd say, despite the low frame rate. I don't know. Uh, the frame rate actually wasn't bad. Yeah. It just, like, everything moves terribly. Like, it's not the frame rate. The game just moves bad. Oh, yeah, really? Actually, the smooth frame rate, it <laughs> enhances the badness of the controls. Because yeah, if it were like, choppy, you'd be like, oh, it's just a choppy game. I'll just move slower. But nope. Yeah. <laughs> it just so, controls that way. Imagine it's Star Fox 2, but it looks exactly the same, but it's running at 60 frames per second. And that's exactly <laughs> what it feels like. Oh, no. And that's awful. And, like, your hitbox was... Uh, it was a square that I don't think moved with you and sometimes just wasn't there. I don't know what was going on with any of the hitboxes in this game because they were just I just couldn't figure it out. The hit I just gave up on the hitboxes. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> well, you know, this was a lot of fun to watch. I, I have to ask, though, Alpha 5, what is that noise? Bald Nate? What's that noise? What noise? I think you're driving into the sunset. That's... <laughs> oh, that's the answer. I, I play all my Kuso matches atop a motorcycle. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Oh. I hope it isn't prohibited. Uh, no, nah, it's tool it assisted. It's a card game, so I don't know why it wouldn't enhance this. There you go. <laughs> so, Alpha 5, this or the last shooter that you got, the, the weird ocean um... one? Well, this one wasn't score attack, so I felt a little better about it. But at the same time, I never felt as treated unfairly by the other one. <laughs> so that boss was brutal, and I think I kind of figured it out at the very end. But like... Oh, it's mean. 
it's it's so mean and like sometimes like i definitely dodged that purple laser i'm on the other side of the screen it could hit you when you couldn't even see the lasers it just did damage <laughs> to you it was terrible oh yeah no i i never felt like the other game wasn't in my control but i guess i'll have to th pick a, a better one when you give me one next week somehow for like spooky game oh wait not next week because it's empty finals but <laughs> spooky <laughs> game somehow Boo. Yeah, I, I'm excited. We do have a spooky round of video games. That's going to be fun. You know what? It is about that time that we need to move on. Baldinate, thank you so much. You are eliminated from the tournament. Be sure to hit me up, I believe. Uh, let me let me check just to make 100% sure that I'm not lying to you. Uh, because you'll go ahead and get up to $10 of games on Steam and Neil Breen's Twisted Pair classic movie. Uh do you have any last words for your tombstone? Oh, man. Uh, here lies Bald Nate's wrist, tired of mashing. <laughs> I'm crying for your wrist. <laughs> yeah. I, I switched to claw grip and like so many different grips during this race, and I was thinking about rebinding controls to like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about playing this on a mouse and seeing if I could get X and Y to move it and then just bind it to scroll wheel or something because I just couldn't mash it anymore. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was testing these games, I was like, this is going to hurt them. And then I just used the turbo for the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bad person. <laughs> I, I, I would probably recommend advising them that there is going to be mashing and maybe giving them an option that if they both agree they can use her anyway just saying just saying i would never i i think i should put that as a rule if it is match heavy they get to decide okay new right. rule uh we'll call it the bald nate rule yeah thanks for making this rule after i've played two on rail shooters you're welcome, Alpha Five. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> no, I, I really do need to move on. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Good luck on the mystery tournament. Uh, All right. Go kick bye, some buddy. butt for us. Will do. Bye, Bald Nate. Bye, Nothing Bow. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, everybody, this is Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament we uh, just had star x what a beautiful video game i do want to thank everybody by the way for all the support that you've given cam lone mouse wolf resubscribing lost dragon has dropped some bits rbw uh gifted a sub over to karaoke kessin chu uh, resubscribing with twitch prime but that was yesterday